Hello, this is Turbo Outrun Reimagined. It's yet another new version. This is 0.3.6c, which is about all of seven hours old. The developer has been doing a lot of stuff. Um, option screen I don't think has changed. Uh, he's mostly been working on original. I'm mostly here to, to try out my new Xbox uh, controller. Um, you know, it's just their $50 default new controller uh, trying to find a good controller for racing games one with an analog you know control in the in a comfortable position but I'm not sure this one's gonna be it um, okay I'm gonna do the dagger DX40 so this this Xbox controller you can it wants you to download this Xbox Excel accessories app but the app is just a clown show it um, you can't let's see you you can't uh, you, in order to like swap buttons which is its main function you have to have the controller plugged in by a USB cable which the controller does not come with USB C I had one so I plugged that in and then uh, it, it seems to be able to swap buttons, although you can't swap the trigger buttons for some reason. I don't know why they wouldn't let you swap the triggers, but they don't. Um, so that was actually not useful for this so much, although it does have it. Well, it, you can't just swap the triggers for any button. You, you can swap the triggers with each other. So that would have worked, except then, which because that's what I wanted to do here. Uh, I wanted gas on the on the left side, but then um, uh, as soon as I unplug the cable to play wirelessly, the my profile that I set up with all those button swaps just stops working. So it's like the profiles don't work if you're playing wirelessly. That's pretty much useless. Um, so I finally gave that up, and I'm just running the game, uh, this game as a non-Steam game through Steam, which does let me switch my buttons around. Uh, uh, that means I can't use the, um, uh, what the heck is that thing called? Whatever server, whatever Riva Tuner Exchange server, uh, whatever it is, uh, to limit the frame rate. But I think the developer has probably put in that 120 frames per second frame rate limit, or he was talking about putting in sometime like three builds ago now. So uh, it shouldn't be cooking my computer too bad. Um, uh, what else? Now I can capture it uh, specific by the app in. Uh, in OBS, so I don't have to show you all my my gross desktop stuff. Um, so this is a new build. There's already a bunch of stuff I can see in here that the developer was talking about in recent like comments on YouTube and stuff. Um, uh, I was let's see. I was thinking about some options. It would be nice to have. Like it'd be nice to have the option to swap the gas and brake buttons or just the triggers um, and also I think in the default face button setup on this controller gas is on X the Xbox X button but there's no brake button on the face buttons so why is why is there an accelerate button on the face buttons but no gas button on the face buttons that seems weird um, also, you can't use the, uh, so if I hit escape now, it does something different. Oh, I can't do it while I'm paused. So yeah, it goes back to the menu instead of just aborting the program. I think it might have done that before. Um, so you can't, oh, I can use the analog stick to go up and down this menu, but if I go here now the analog stick doesn't move left and right so it should probably you should probably be able to move left and right on this menu with the analog stick instead of just the d-pad uh, and then you can't use the analog stick here either and I don't think you can use it in the upgrade screen to move left and right so that would be uh, nice to be able to do that rain effect is probably not supposed to appear right there. It does come in later. 
so there there is a concept the developer was saying of a nemesis and i think early on it's this guy but later he said it becomes the motorcyclist and in fact if you win a certain number of races you unlock the motorcycle uh which i had no idea about So the, I don't know if it's just this car or what, but the steering is really smooth all of a sudden. I don't know if it's the car or this new controller, but super smooth steering. Maybe, maybe, because the, the last car I was using in the, in the last recording, oh man, he just blew by me like I was standing still. Um, the, that blue uh, roadster, that this one actually right there. Oh no, the one that just totaled me. Um, that car felt really jerky, but maybe it was that 8-bit 2 controller I was trying to use. I don't know. So I'm just trying to see if I can use this Xbox controller with my, without my wrist getting sore. Uh, because, I mean, I'm trying to be able to use gas on the left hand because I, my, my right shoulder is just messed up. Not really bad, but just, uh, it, it easily tenses up. So if I'm holding a button from years of past abuse, if I'm holding a button constantly with my right hand, my right shoulder starts getting all stressed out and just tensing up and it gets sore and it sucks. Um, so I don't want to hold a button with my right hand, basically. So I have to put gas on the left. But that, I think, is kind of difficult. It's not very ergonomic to be holding a button, like a trigger button, constantly with the left hand and trying to steer the, the analog stick, the left analog stick with your thumb, you know? Doing pretty well here. Uh, it just puts a lot of weird stress on that hand because you got one finger trying to hold one button and another finger trying to hold the analog stick. And both of them having to try to, you know, to control those things independently. I don't know. Oh, come on! Oh, no. Oh, that was about as bad as I could have done. Jeez. isn't looking great. I'm wrecking way too much. Um, so one one last thing occurred to me so far, which is that I've, I've played two games recently that had this concept of uh, auto acceleration, these racing games, where you didn't actually have to hold the gas button all the time. The, the game just applied the gas for you. Uh, there was a like 10 second racing part in Sonic geez, Generations that did that, which was really sweet. And then the game I just played like a week ago, the fan, the Sega Rally fan game. Um, I'm not gonna make it, am I? Oh, I made it. Uh, the heck was it? It was like Victory Heat Rally, I think, something like that. That has an option that you just toggle on from the options menu that's called auto excel and once you do that you don't have to push gas anymore and i think when you hit the brakes you know it automatically lays off the gas and then when you release the brakes it puts the gas back on now that's a super arcadey game even more arcadey than this um and that's probably why it works so well there like it does mean you you wouldn't be able to coast but i never coast in this game anyway uh, you would either always be hitting the gas or hitting the brake because if you if you had an auto acceleration function here, you know it would just be hitting it would just be pressing the gas all the time unless you were hitting the brake, and then it wouldn't be doing gas; it would be doing brake. But then as soon as you left let off the brake, it would apply the gas again. Uh, still, I would I would use that. Um, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. Um, the developer said in a YouTube comment that this, uh, this person here who I was wondering about last time uh, is uh, his father, actually. 
uh, who sadly passed away, um, and he just, uh, he kind of thought it'd be cool to memorialize him as, as the helpful, uh, upgrade guru here, so that's, uh, that's Frankie, or Frank as he's called, as he introduces himself here. I, oh, I guess he renamed him, now he's Frank. Um, okay. So he's made some changes to this screen, and yeah, I can't control it with the analog stick. Up or, up, down, or left, right. Um, uh, so I blew up my ignition already. That's no good. I realized last time that I, I was overlooking the weight reduction all the time, just because it, I think it's because it was nothing that broke down constantly, whereas I had to keep attending to the stuff that was constantly breaking. And uh, he's added a button here where, I mean, it's my, I haven't played, the last version I played was 0 0.3.5, and it wasn't in that, I don't think, but here's, you can go here to uh, end your, your upgrade session. Um, oh, and he's got a figure showing you how many upgrades there are, I think is what that shows you. That number on the right of the slash. So I guess I better fix that. Uh, I think he said also the upgraded oil wasn't giving you its reduced heat benefit or something. Um, I get two upgrades already. Uh... I mean, that would be cool, right? Man, I damaged everything. <laughs> oh. I can't go easy on the throttle. What does it mean? It's a digital throttle. It either goes or it doesn't go. Uh. Oh, the brakes are going out. What else is new? Transmission's damaged. Well, remove spare tire, upgraded brakes recommended, jeez. Reduce brake fade, that'd be good because my brakes are always fading. Wait, this doesn't take any time. I'm out of upgrades, so... Oh, yeah, I'm out of upgrades, what am I thinking here? Well, I can repair something. Not that. This... The radiator's the only thing that isn't damaged. Well, repair it anyway. Okay. And he added this sound effect there. Although I noticed that if I if I like hammer on the button, it repeats the sound, which is kind of funny. So there's this whole concept in this game that I hadn't realized of uh, of winning a race versus just finishing a race. And then because if you if you don't win a certain um, number of the five races, then you restart at race number one. Uh, see, I'm at race number two. It says two races to win. But see, that just... I don't really understand what that means in my head. That just doesn't communicate to me. But I guess it's this whole idea that you, you need to win, which is to come in first in a race or something. I mean, you've got this nemesis, like it, it shows you in the upper right that two of two, that means I am in second place behind my nemesis. So I guess maybe that's the only thing you have to win. I don't know. It's confusing, right? That confuses me. Am I really, is this really just a two person race? I don't know. Nothing really explains that. Ah, this is starting to bother my wrist. Okay. 
Okay, I'm adjusting my wrist a little bit. That feels better, I guess. I don't know. I'm using the uh, bumpers right now. Because then I can sort of choke up on the handles. And I don't get this big vertical uh, distance between my my thumb on top of the analog stick and my fingers down on the triggers. So I guess I'm losing this two-person race right now. Is that my nemesis? Oh, see, yeah, so now I'm in first because I passed them. So technically that would mean I'm winning, but now I'm not. So I don't know, that, that part doesn't really work so well for me. Like, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't really feel like that's a fair race, you know? Like, because they'll just rip by me whenever, I can't really seem to control it. It seems silly and arbitrary. Like, I thought OutRun was really just a race against the clock. That's, that works good. Oh wow, that guy was flipping out. So yeah, I think just holding a bumper is not... My wrist is just not gonna like that at all. Bumper or trigger. Oh, is that triangle on the... On the progress bar, is that my... Nemesis. That's a little... I, I, I think if you're going to do a Nemesis, and I've seen this in racing games plenty of times, right? Where there's like an arrow over the, the car that's your main rival or your target or whatever, right? You put that actually over the, the car on the road. Uh oh, I didn't make it. This pause here kind of sucks. Lives too. See, that's not really clear either, so I l lost a life, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's still, it's completely nebulous to me, basically, what's going on with lives and wins and what am I really here for? Or is it going to loop around to race one again? I don't know. I didn't even know that was a thing until, like, I looped it, like, three times, and I was like, wait a second. Uh... Well, if I'm not going to notice it, then I'm not going to care, Frank. Um, so that's good. I could do it again. I probably will. Quite a bit of rare. Oh, now I only get two or one upgrade. Uh, I could do the radiator. Stupid. Brakes. Brakes always go out. I'm not going to worry about the brakes. Um, not yet, anyway. So I did upgrade my tires. Oh, it's upgraded brakes. Oh, no, no I mean, I upgraded my brakes, right. So should I just do that? It only takes five minutes. Oh, well, then, uh, then do that. Oh, do that. And, uh, swap the oil. And, um, I guess we could do the transmission. I got exactly 60 minutes. So watch this, I'm going to hammer the button. Oh, it didn't work. What the heck? I could swear I got it to make lots of funny noises one time, two times at least. Well, now I just sound like a maniac. A lunatic. So, okay, the arrow, at least on the, on the progress meter, makes it a little clearer who your rival is. Although, again, I, it would be much clearer if it was just a marker over the actual car. Because you can't really 
monitor both the track and the progress bar at the same time anyway while you're trying to race, you know. Yeah, I think this whole... It's just, I'm not going to be able to do racing games with an analog stick and having to do gas on, on the left hand, and I can't do gas on the right hand, so... I guess that means I'm going to have to just use a D-pad. Because that's like, that's more like just tapping. It's not holding, like you're always holding the analog stick. I think, at least... I don't know, maybe it's just the shape of a dual shock. I'm just so used to. Well, I should really stop whacking. Uh oh. That's probably a bad sign. <laughs> Was that hot flashes or. I don't know, I probably blew something out of my car. Oh, yeah, that's not good. That's brakes, I think. Oh, well, I knew the brakes were getting bad, but they, they didn't spark in the last car. Oh, man, they're sparky super spark. Oh, whoa. Oh, man, this isn't good. I'm probably not going to make it. Oh, now something else broke. I should probably stop crashing. I'm just talking too much and worrying about my dumb wrist and all this nonsense. Uh-oh. Oh, golly, I did that the worst. I hit two cars and then a sign. Oh, just abort now. Get him. Get him. Probably wrecking my car even more. Lies won. Well, okay, if you say so. And this is still kind of a nebulous message. Like, I don't know if it just decreased to one. Is it one now? I mean, who knows? Uh, oh, I damaged the ignition. I damaged the radiator. The brakes are gone. Ten minutes left. Can't even change the oil. There, I did it. See? I'm not crazy. I mean, it's kind of fun to have a rival, but I don't know if it's fun to base my entire progress on this weird rubber bandy jerk. That, that seems a little stressful. Because he just seems able to blow by me whenever he wants. Oh, come on, I can never get by anybody. Uh, that was not even necessary. Oh, this weird burnt Christmas palette always kind of gets to me. It's pretty weird. I wonder, is there a track in Outrun that's this color palette? Oh no! Why do I keep crashing today? I'm just... Idiot today. 
especially. Well, if the car ain't smoking, then, uh, you're doing fine. Except I'm not doing great on time, I don't think. I can't do it. I can't... I can't do this car somehow. I don't know if it's just wider than the last one and I'm just slamming into more stuff because I don't... I keep thinking I'm okay and I'm not going to clear it. Or what? Or I'm just paying even less attention. Can I get between those guys? Okay, I did it. What's that guy doing? Well, that was a handy straight for that turbo. Ah, a little too much breakage. I like this orange. Ripping. Oh no. Oh heck. How many lives now came over now? Well it sucked. I mean a lot of it I feel like I don't know how the continue thing works. Let's see, well, I didn't continue, because I, I was dead. So it didn't continue, so why did it say continue? I don't know. Wait, did I... I guess this is the right car. I don't know. Hey! There's this sudden weird rain shower. It's a little too... I don't know, you can see it kind of clipping in front of you. Like it's not quite coming up to the camera. Looks a little weird, I guess. Holy... I just can't stop crashing in this thing. Man. And they're all, they're these bad crashes. I hit like two different things. At least. No, why? What is he doing? He did that just to hit me. Jeez, he did it too! They're just trolling me now. They're like, hey buddy, we heard you like to hit things. Oh, jeez. Wow. Just a car dead across one and, one and a half lanes. Ah. Okay, that was sweet. When I actually don't hit something, it feels great, but God, what is wrong with me? Oh, wow. Uh oh. Well, I did it. Uh, I'm not holding any control or anything. This is kind of cool. I can't steer. I can rev the engine. I hit the turbo. <laughs> Sweet. Turbo again. Oh. 
Well, okay, now I can't turbo. Time is up. Oh, I forgot to do something. Hang on a sec. I forgot to have a nice soft pad to sit on for my big bony buns. Eventually, I'm going to finish the race, I think. Hmm. Can't rev the engine anymore. Do -do -do -do. I mean, it'd be sweet if there was like a flying car upgrade. feel like I've become some sort of extraterrestrial. This is going to take a while. Maybe when it gets to the checkpoint it'll, it'll flip over, although I guess that seems unlikely. And I'll just wait until the checkpoint, then I'll abort. Bum, bum. Hey, wake up! Why are those lampposts still on? They're wasting the electricity. Here we go, what's gonna happen? Probably nothing. I mean, I'll probably get a chunk of time. Checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, I got to do my... Uh, oh, I can rev again. Wait. Yeah. I guess because I have time now. Time is restored to me. I'm back in the time stream. Okay, there's still no gap to escape on my keyboard. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a new game. Welcome to the car. Yeah, the whole continue thing confuses the heck out of me. The whole race is to win confuses the heck out of me. I'm just not that smart. I can't. You, I, just, I just thought it was five races. I just thought it was five races and you just try not to run out of time. I didn't know there were nemeses that it really mattered where you finished relative to them. I had no idea that um, you had to outright win a certain number of the races and that winning was tied to this I guess to this nemesis. Uh, oh god! I had no idea that it would loop. I guess if you didn't win enough, I, it's just I, uh, oh man, it's so complicated. I just want a race, a race against the clock mode. Really, is all I want. I guess that's more of what the other mode is. The mode that isn't... that's finished. Well, maybe it is. I haven't looked at it lately. Okay, now I'm using the triggers for some reason. I didn't hit him too bad. No, get out of the way, you big lumbering oaf. 
popping your half wheelie down the whole darn street. Look at these guys all just wheeling along. What are you do? Oh! I was looking at the wheelie and not at the road. They're distracting me with their half wheelies. There goes my nemesis, now I'm losing. See, I didn't used to think it mattered. I thought it was just funny. Oh, why am I doing that? Why am I crashing like a goofball? That's kind of a gold-colored car, huh? Maybe it's just because this car is really fast. Oh, oh man. That poor slob. At least he wasn't floating down the road, I guess. Consider yourself lucky, buddy. You weren't not knocked out of the time stream, you know? As long as you're still in the time stream, even though you may be subject to laws of mortality. Oh, no! Why? Why? Why am I... Like, I kind of got... I felt crowded by that guy coming up behind me, and I just, like... Just kind of... Let him kind of nudge me over? I, I don't know. Suck on that. Your rhubarb. I won. So it does tell you you won the race, but see, I always just kind of took that as just some kind of... You know, it's like, yeah, you either win or you don't finish, right? I thought that's all that meant. Because it, it doesn't make sense that it's just you and one other car who are racing here. I mean, there's all these other cars, too. On the track. I don't, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's a weird situation. I don't know how how my character got into this weird situation. Uh, I still can't hit the controller. Why is Frank in... Oh, because I started a new game. Hi, Frank. Okay. Oh, the ignition system is damaged. Maybe there should be like a damaged color or something, you know, like a... I don't know. Some, some slight gray or something. Quite a bit of rare. Like, yeah, if these are more color-coded, you wouldn't have to flip through them all and try to remember what Frank says about each one. Stupid brakes. So when the brakes go on this thing, it's really bad. That's not great. If I upgrade them, they fade less. I guess we'll do it. Tires, transmission's broken. I could upgrade the oil. Probably gonna blow out the transmission or the ignition, whatever. Can't repair the transmission. Uh, could repair tires or ignition. Five minutes. We can repair the radiator even though it doesn't need it. I mean, maybe that's kind of a failing of this thing, is it? You, you know, you're like, oh, might as well. Take that radiator. See, and then it says I came in fourth, like. No, oh, that's just time. Oh, it's just confusing. That's like overall times, I think. Because there, I'm on there twice. So I just, I don't. 
Oh, the rain was there for another second. That's something that flashed on screen for... Um, how come I only have one turbo jet and he's got two? I feel like I have less thrust. Oh, there's a lot of traffic. See, I'm using the bumpers, so even if there were analog steering or accelerating and braking, which I don't think there is, I wouldn't be able to use it. I keep switching around, though, when I'm using for gas and brake, because I, I mapped both the bumpers and the triggers in, uh, in Steam. Okay, and I just got paranoid about hitting these purple towers again. Stroked right by me. He was stroking. Oh, that was close. You get that like near hit sound where it's like kind of an impact sound but not full volume. It's so weird, but it like makes some kind of sense in my brain. Now that's a sweet car. I just passed on the right there. I like that weird tune. Oh. Uh, you friggin' jerk. Oh, then you just kick off your turbo right in front of me and you can't even stay straight down the road. You don't have a straight face and sprite or what? Do it! Suck on that! Rubenstein! I don't know what I was trying to say there. Ooh. Ooh. The way these turns swing around is so crazy, but it's not as... It's not like horrible like old OutRun actually was. They were just like catapults you straight into the ditch. Oh yeah, I made it around somebody without hitting them. What the heck? What's the world coming to? Oh no. No, oh, no, I failed anyway. Oh no, I didn't. I even won. It's coming awful close though. I'm just like... I don't know, it's, this car isn't as super overpowered as the last two I used, I suppose. Or I'm just getting worse, which also seems likely. I won't notice it. The oil looks okay, wow. No power loss yet. Oh, that sounds good. I mean, that's what my doctor might have told me the other day if I'd ever gone to see him. Uh, yeah. Mm. How's the time for weight reduction? Says Jenny Craig. I should also get these fixed. Lots of wear with no power loss. Mm. I haven't had heat problems yet exactly, but... Reduced engine wear, hey. Top condition. Let's get this then. Race oil, baby. Just drink it down like sweet wine. 
Uh, well, again, I, I mean, I got nothing else to do. I just haven't replaced the radiator every time. Wait, I could do tires for no reason also. He doesn't say they look great, he just says okay, so maybe I'll just do those. Oh, see now maybe my nemesis is the motorcycle. Hey, the progress bar isn't up there on top yet. Oh, there it is. I guess it's not there until the race actually starts. So, I think my nemesis is now the motorcyclist. But I only really know that because the developer told me that. Oh, shoot! This gold Porsche is dragging its butt. What's, what's on that bumpers anyway? What is that? Like it's got a headset on both sides. A car headset, it's... I don't know what I'm saying, it's dumb brief. You darn motorcycle. Okay, here's the part where I get paranoid with... because that happens. Oh no, it happened again. Oh, it wrecked me again that I mean as soon as the cliff came up I just got I just got shunted right off it by some jerk. Immediately. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to play this stage anymore. It's gonna curl up into a ball and cry. And I mean the race is just starting and I'm already just completely broken. Yeah, you can't get past me. I'm a huge wide car swerving around. Uh oh, you got past me. Dang it. Yeah, it's not great. And then I'm gonna fall off the cliff at some point too. Maybe if I go fast enough, the smoke will dissipate. That's how that works, right? I'll just be able to see less of it. Killed one guy. I killed a man today. Except then he learned to fly. He's gonna come back like some kind of avenging angel and just sweep out of- Ooh! Uh-oh. Oh well, we all died. Oh, you jerk. I'm still ahead of my rival. No, wait, I'm not. He was ahead of me. On the progress bar. I don't know. Yeah, can you use the analog stick? Darn ignition! Darn turbo. Thou. Oh no. I'm gonna lose a gear. Whatever. This car's had it, man. Oh, that, that rain was there for a second again. Spanking. It's all fun and games until I shoot off that little cliff coming up. Dog or ram into some jerk's bumper. Hmm. 
I did it! Here we go, turbo off a cliff. Oh, I'm reaching warp speed. Oh. Oh, this is cliff riding music. Cliff catapulting off of music. Oh. <laughs> this music is way too jolly for this dire situation. No, come on, what? Okay, well, he died. Get out of my way, you jerks. That guy got out of the way. Ugh. My quest for tires end here. I did. Oh no. Oh no, now I'm smoking again. Well, that's probably done it. I just can't seem to stay on the road today. Ugh. Jeez, didn't even go. Ah. Oh, don't do that. Ah. Uh, everything broke. Just break down. I guess I could have upgraded something, probably. That was kind of dumb. I just, it gets depressing, you know? Like, not only do you lose the race, your, half of your car is trashed. And then you just gotta try again. You got this jerk of a motorcyclist just zooming off down the road. And I mean, I don't really know how not to crash on that really narrow cliff road, but I don't know. I could just go slow. It doesn't seem like a very viable option somehow. Gear shift sounded really cool for some reason. These cars are like staying out of my way, except that guy. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. Got these big rust colored buckets in my way on this one. Oh. Can't even get around a mini. Yeah, you you die. Uh, uh oh, the brakes are gone. No brakes, Ma. Look, Ma, no brakes. 
That was a weird sound. Oh. I love the sparks, though. Yeah, everybody get wrecked. Oh no, I can't hit turbo because it's too hot. Or, yeah. No, oh, I can't do it in this car. I can't make it in this car. Uh, anyway, I gotta go to bed. So, yeah, that's... Uh, I guess I, I just... I can't make it in the first two cars. I need the overpowered cars, basically. Just sad. Um... No, my my wrist kind of it's kind of okay if I keep adjusting how I'm holding this controller. It's got you know much sort of wider angled grips. They're not really that farther apart. They're just angle out more at the, at the bottom. Still not really sure I'm gonna be able to use an analog thingy though. While crushing the, the accelerator with the same hand. Maybe I should have raced a little with the dual shock. Too late? Can I can I run the? Hmm. I don't think I can because I ran this through Steam. Well, Steam would pick up that I switched controllers. Let's see what happens. shot go on Xbox thing hold the button for seven seconds and it goes off big dumb bright X button there you go uh, yeah it worked now I can control it with the, the dual shock uh, okay let's just try a little thank car The DualShock just feels less stressful, like it's a lot lighter than the Xbox controller. The Xbox controller is, just feels so dense, like they made it out of uranium. Now I got this crazy antler, uh, digital control, gonna smash into everything. It's gonna be all twitchy. Why is R1 even working as a break? Did I? S I guess I did set that up in Steam. That's right. That was a pretty good rain shower, actually. But which way? I couldn't even tell which way the road was going. What's wrong? Ah! Come on, all buns. Oh no! I just want to start over. That was terrible. Or. Oh man. Welcome to the car. Welcome to what? Welcome to Wrecking Crew. Welcome to my car flipping over and breaking town. Oh, everything feels twitchier when you're using digital steering. It's ridiculous. I'm going to be the scrubbiest racer ever. Three guys. 
gosh darn ridiculous. You know what else is ridiculous? I ordered a third copy of Motor 2 Grand Prix today because the previous two were bad discs. What the heck, Motor 2? I think the problem is getting PS1 discs from American racing game players. No offense, but they just don't seem to take good care of their discs. So, on that theory, I've ordered a, a third one from a seller in Japan who's selling the uh, Motor Tune Grand Prix USA edition, which ironically was only sold in Japan, but it's basically a, a budget re-release of Motor Tune Grand Prix 2, which was a report back to Japan. Oh, come on! Of of the American Motor Tune Grand Prix, which was really the second Motor Tune game, because the first one never actually came out in the States, because it was so gosh darn glitchy when it came out in Japan that the uh, Western writers previewing it were like, oh, this is terrible. And then Sony was so ashamed they didn't publish it in the West. And that was Kazunori Yamauchi. And, uh, I guess they didn't fire him, no? Oh, no. Oh, my... <laughs> it's just planted. I can't stop wrecking in this car. Uh... It's just whack. Instant smoke. Me and this car don't... Don't get along. I mean, I guess the, the car I raced in last time just basically blew up. So apparently the only car I can really use is the, the fourth one. Maybe I'd do okay with a motorcycle, I don't know. Ah, oh, God! I can't... I can't do this car. Ha! Oh man, I got an alarm going off. It's telling me I should have been in bed like three hours ago, probably. Uh... Enter well. Um, uh, so another thing is that like I can't abort here, like I can't hit escape here and get out. You know, I have to go through this whole thing and see all the damage that I've done to my hopes and future. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. This is like a funeral. <laughs> It's a nice funeral, though. You know, it's one of those sad lounge funerals. It's kind of like, man, life, you know. At least I'm not floating upside down along the side of the road, I suppose. Oh, this is nice music. So, yeah, the, the developer's doing a ton of stuff, though. It's crazy. Um... I don't know about this controller situation. I definitely hurt my wrist less when I'm not using trying to use an analog stick with a left hand gas button, so I'm probably gonna have to take this take this controller back. The funny thing, did I did I talk about how I got this? Like can you hear that speaker in the background? That's my alarm. I, anyway, um I uh I, I ordered it from the local Walmart. There's a, a gigantic Walmart in this city I live in, on the far side of town, looming over the city. I did talk about this. Uh, and the website said that 
they would deliver it the next day. I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is way better than Amazon or something. I'm just going to, you know, Walmart, go, go Walmart. I was like this sudden Walmart convert after kind of fearing and hating them uh, and not knowing anything about Walmart, really. Uh, and, uh, and then, and that was like in the middle of the night or something. And then the next day they said, uh, Oh, uh, your thing's been delayed two days. <laughs> it's like, well, what? So, I guess the, the next day delivery was not exactly a thing. And then, like, I guess I thought they must have had their own, like, internal, you know, delivery thing. I thought they just had drivers at the store who were just driving around town, you know, just dropping stuff off all day long, like the grocery store or something. But, uh, but what they did was they, like, after another day, I suddenly got this notification from um, FedEx that uh, the package was, was, had been, had been, um, you know, they got a tracking number for a package. Like, what? And it had come, and then I think I got an update from Walmart. We shipped your thing or whatever. We're shipping your thing. And so they shipped the controller that I'd ordered from the local Walmart, supposedly, and it was supposed to have come after a day. Um, like a day and a half later, they shipped one from a Walmart halfway across the state <laughs> via FedEx. And then it got here the next day, today, by FedEx. Uh, and it got here in the early afternoon. And and that was free delivery, so they paid for this free FedEx, like, next day shipping to get me this controller that they had said they were going to get me the next day, and it ended up taking, like, two, two days, three days. And, uh, but it got here, I guess, and I didn't have to pay for the shipping, so that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I just, I just don't think I'm going to be able to use this thing. I just don't think... I can do the analog thing. It's a nice, I mean, it feels like this super dense, it feels like a heavy metal asteroid in my hands or something. It's crazy. Not so keen on, the, like, it, it just comes with two Duracell copper top batteries. It's like, when was, when's the last time I saw Duracell copper tops anywhere except, like, the checkout aisle at a cheap grocery store? So that was weird. And then the whole kind of their app is it just a I mean I'd seen people saying that it was horrible, but I didn't really understand until I actually tried to set up a profile and have it work. Oh my gosh, just completely failed. Yeah, I got I'm just sitting here fingering my dual shock four and alternating with the Xbox controller. The DualShock 4 is just... The grips are wider apart. It just feels less... It just feels more chilled out in your hands. Like, it's not trying to be this big, dense thing that's channeling your hands in a certain way. It's just kind of this big, loose, kind of creaky thing. You can just hold whichever way you want. But that's probably just because I'm used to it. Well, yeah, so now I guess I'm going to have to walk this thing back to Walgreens at some point. It sucks. If they let me do that, I hope they do. Wash will probably say, oh, you got to ship it back via FedEx. I don't know. I kind of just assumed that I could walk it back there. I thought I saw something saying I could return it in person. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to stick with a crazy old DualShock and digital control of all stupid things. Well, it'll it'll keep me weird. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, anyway, you should check out one of these builds. The developers doing a lot of crazy stuff. Get them some feedback. Um, there's the forum on the on the Itch channel. Um, 
and uh, yeah, which I do link in the description under this thing. And uh, also, you, you could check the comments on on these videos. Uh, the developer actually comments on my dumb videos sometimes, which is cool. So, uh, so thanks for watching. And um, you know, if, if you're if you're not floating upside down the road outside of the time stream, then maybe things aren't so bad. Maybe something will work. See you later. Have a good one. Oh no, I started. There's that little brief rain shower just to freshen things up. Here's my darn nemesis. Did I pause it? No, I didn't. I can't pause it. What? Oh no. Oh, because I'm not on that controller. Oh no. I can't handle it. Where's the controller that's working? There. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna go. Uh, emergency abated. Uh, averted? That's it. See you later.